my friends. Welcome to an ep another episode of Life with Stephanie where I tell you the crazy things that happen in my life. Um, as most of you know, this is my baby, Cookie. Uh, she's a Maltese, full, gr uh, full grown. She's six years old and she weighs five pounds. And my goal in life is to have another dog because I want Cookie to have a friend. Why are you saying, oh, well, okay, Ken's holding up the number this because, okay, yeah, I'll tell him that part too. So Ken always says, but Ken won't let me get another dog right now. And he always says, if I wasn't around, how many dogs would you have? And we have a king size bed. And so I said, well, technically I think I could fit five dogs in this bed. So I would have five dogs if I didn't have you. So if I ever lose Ken, which gosh, you know, I don't want that to happen. But my, I tease him and say I would get four more dogs. Anyway, I really only want one right now. So Cookie is my dog and I want another Maltese. And I, um, but Ken says, no, I can't. Well, one time, I was at my brother's house. My brother lives about half an hour away from me. And we were outside in the front of his house and his neighbor, like 10 houses away, way down there, got out of their car and a little, now I did not have Cookie with me at the time, a little white ball of fluff jumped out of the car and started running down the street, kind of towards me. So I ran across the street because they lived across the street and it's coming towards me. And so what do I do? I get on my knees and I go, come here puppy. Come here, puppy, come here. And it came right to my arms. And it literally, I, if I could watch it again, I think it jumped into my arms. And so I grab it and the people that own this dog, hello, they're like way over there. They're like, oh, ha, ha, our dog ran away. I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, they're lucky I'm honest because seriously, I could have outran them and I could have just kept running with this dog. This dog was the cutest ball of fluff so finally they come over to get their dog that I'm holding and loving and trying, I'm almost crying, I'm so excited. I'm thinking it's meant to be, God wanted me to have this dog. And so they come over and they're like, oh, that's our dog. I'm like, yeah, I know. And I said, what kind of dog is it? It was a Maltese, just like Cook. It was a little boy, four months old. Now this is Cookie and Cookie is full grown at six years old. Imagine how small their four month old dog was. So I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I totally want another dog. I really kind of want your dog, but they wouldn't give it to me, which I thought was rude, but whatever. And so I told Ken, I said, the next time a dog like that runs into my arms from that far away, I'm keeping it. I don't care. It was meant to be. I'm keeping the dog and no one can say a word. So he was kind of laughing. He's like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I'm like, okay, now I'm going to start praying that a dog runs to me, but it hasn't happened yet. But then in the middle of the night, I had a dream last night. I had a dream that I was at the airport and I hate when people talk about the dreams because dreams are weird and stupid, but whatever. So I had this dream um, that the, um, this lady had these two little um, Maltese's and one of them started running towards me. So of course I opened my arms because Ken said, if one runs to me, I get to keep it. So in my dream, I was going like this and it ran to me and oh, it was so cute. And I was like rubbing its belly at the airport and everything. And then all of a sudden, something licked my nose. And I woke up out of my dream and Cookie was licking my nose in real life. And I was so funny. It was so funny because I was like, whoa, um, well, that was weird. Because so Cookie must have had to go potty because that's usually how she wakes us up. Usually she just moves around and I wake up, but I, I was really tired. And so uh, I didn't hear her, but she literally licked my nose as I was having a dream about her brother or sister. So I just thought it was kind of cute. So eventually I will get another Maltese. I'm going to get a rescue one. I've already planned it. So you don't need to send me information about breeders because we're not going to go to a breeder this time. We got her at a breeder, but we're not going to get her at a breeder, uh, the new one at a breeder. We're going to, I'm going to um, test drive a dog, meaning I'm going to be a foster parent to this puppy and or dog. And if I love it and my whole family falls in love with it, then we're going to keep it. But if we don't fall in love with it and we probably want to get a different one, we're going to get a different one and we'll let that one get adopted. So I already have it all figured out. So and that's probably how I'm going to get dog number three and dog number four and dog number five. Right, Cook? Can I have a kiss? Give mommy a kiss. Kiss. Give mommy a kiss. Say bye-bye, everybody. Mwah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for, if you're really still watching this, you're amazing. I love you. And Cookie and I say goodbye. It's very hot in here, so she's panting. So we're going to go um, get her some water. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Oh.